All right, this is it. This thing is insane. Baja Warrior 350. I'm pretty sure it's a six speed. Needed some minor tinkering with to get it to run. It is now officially running and it's sketchy. So you guys are gonna see how I put it together and got it to go. And let's get right to the video. Hey Johnny, Enjoy. holding out. Come over here to look at some racing cart frames and he's got this badass go-kart in his yard. Just sitting here rotting. I will trade that too. I got this one and I got the hidden one. I cut it rough. What size axle is that? Uh, I don't know. It looks like inch and a quarter. I'm going to shoot a quick video. I just got this score um, from a buddy of mine named Johnny. He's in the yard right now. But I just wanted to show it to you. Yeah, yeah. Needs rims and tires. I got a few. I'm going to have to see if I got anything that will work on it. But that is going to go on the back burner right now because my yard looks like a salvage yard. We got the Z50R, the green mini bike, the 110cc cart. Yes, it's finished. The OG with no steering wheel. Uh, the no name cart yet. We're still working on that. My rider. That thing that I traded this, I traded that for the racing cart. Snapper runs pretty good. He's driving it all over. We'll see tens out. But this is the new one. This is going to be what's in the garage now, taking up all my space. What's up? All right, guys. It's Monday morning. It's like September 10th or something like that. Um, as you saw in my last little sneak peek video, I did get this thing. It is a monster. I don't know a whole lot about it yet. I'm going to go through it today and see what I can figure out. Brand new brake master cylinder. It's got motorcycle. Um, you know, the, these are parts off of a, a dirt bike or a four-wheeler. There's your, uh, I believe that's my clutch and brake, and that's the gas pedal. Look, you can barely get your foot in there. So that's the gas. Sounds like it's working, which is good. Um, so I was looking at that. You could barely get your shoe in there to hit that gas. So one thing I'm going to have to do is take this and slide it over so I have a little bit more room. And I'm thinking about making some sort of pedal right here. And I don't like the configuration either. It's all goofed up. I mean, this is in the right place, but these two should be switched. I mean, I don't know if there's a way to do that or not. I'm gonna have to look into it. Cause I could just slide this, slide this all the way over, maybe, you know, and have it in this direction for brakes and then figure out a way to put the gas pedal here. That would be awesome. Then your clutch and everything be in the right place. Um, here's your starter kill switch and lights. Um, I have an extra one of these if that doesn't work. Here's your shifter, which uh, is not connected right now. This is your reverse, which has no connection right now. So I have to figure that out. Um, the seat's not tied down. I'm going to take these pieces of metal off just so I have more room to work. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it's a Yamaha 350 Banshee motor. He told he tells me that carburetor is fairly brand new. It was 200 and something dollars. Um, the motor looks like it's in really good shape. I mean, it's it's clean for a four-wheeler engine. Really good mounts down here. Uh, it may leak a little bit of oil. It's a four-stroke. Uh, most of your electronics are back here. I have to go through all this stuff because I, I don't have a key. So I'm going to have to get into that wiring harness and find that kill switch wire, the black and yellow. So here's my choke. Uh, check out this chain. This is some beefy chain, boy. I'm not sure what size that is. Um, there's no brakes on the back yet. 
but I don't think it'd be too hard to mount you a caliber off of here, which is cool. Um, there's where your battery goes. I'm not sure which linkage this is. This thing was professionally made. Like, I don't know who made this, but it's an all aluminum frame. I mean, this is just all around well built. It's got three axle hangers. There's the third one right there, which is awesome. Um, let's see, there's your CDI. Your, uh, I can never remember the name of that thing. Uh, your ignition coil thingamajiggy. So I'm going to work on, I'm going to pull this plug wire out and pull that out and maybe bring a battery over here. But first, I'm going to have to pull this off because uh, I don't have a key. I might be able to find something to work. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm going to tinker with it. It's still kind of early. Still drinking coffee, so we'll get around to it. I am so excited about this thing. It's going to be a while probably before we ride it, if it even runs. It may have some clutch pack issues. So that's what he said when he parked it. it he had put a brand new clutch in it, and something wasn't working correctly. So that's going to be what we have to figure out, plus all the other little small things. But... Yeah, let's get right into this video of trying to get this thing to run. What do you think, guys? Let's check for some spark and get that key out. <laughs> You're snitching me out. It would suck it in. It would suck it in. Pop back out. Right. I'm going to start by just shoving some fuel. <laughs> oh, crap. Custom made fuel injector. Alright, let's see if she'll do it. Oh, Johnny! Alright, well, I'll throw some more fuel in her. Alright, so we got this little gas tank here rigged up, and we're gonna try it again. See if we can keep her running this time. Round two. Fuel is on. Ignition is on. Choke is on. Yeah, I might have to pull some down, so. Go ahead. Wow. Wow, dude. Quiet. Yeah, it is. Real quiet. Oh, the fuel. Close that back up. Close back up. Yeah. But dude, shut that key off. She sits there and I was perfect. Where's that? Where's that shut off? Alright, so it keeps spitting fuel out of here, this little orifice here, and under here. So I'm gonna take it apart and just rebuild it, see if I can figure out why it's doing it. So gotta start by taking this off and unhooking the throttle, and then I can pull her off of there. It's two 12 millimeter bolts on the back of this throttle body and that's what I'm gonna do now. We'll get back to you. Alright, good. Spin out! He lost all his tools again. Oh no! Do it down there again! But, uh, yeah, I don't 
think the clutch is engaging. I can uh, focus. I can get it to go into reverse, but not the forward gears. And I can see where somebody's been messing with it, and they got all the. As you can see, this is stretched. They got it stretched out as far as it'll go. Good morning. So it's the next weekend since that last clip. I have figured out absolutely butt kiss about this thing. I loosened up, you know, everything in here, and I I, I feel like this is not doing anything because this is just so easy to push in and out I mean look pinky finger I'm pushing it with my pinky finger I just don't think it's pushing that basket in and you know to, to that's what I think there's a little this comes down and pushes a little piston forward towards the basket and I think the gear or something I don't think it's pushing it out far enough so I'm gonna remove before I go tearing into this and letting all the oil out and all that, I'm going to remove this E-clip, try to pull this up and off, and twist it and see if I can feel like it's grabbing that, pushing that clutch in. Because I don't, I just feel like the part that's in here, that little piston is not touching that basket. That's my theory on why the it's not going in forward gears right now. So. I don't know I feel like it should go into forward gears even without the clutch if it's not running like I can't get it to engage into any forward gears whatsoever <clears throat> it, engage, it engages into reverse and goes back into neutral no problem but the forward gears are not working so I'm gonna try that before I go any further and uh, see if that helps at all so I'll let you guys know here in a little bit. All right, I've been tinkering with it and tinkering with it. And I'm still at the same spot. I do not think that this is engaging. If you can hear this, it's, it's just, it's not doing anything. It's binding up. Um, I can put this little lever on there and it only goes so far, so far and then stops. There's no spring feeling or anything. It just goes to that point and stops there's no more so now see I can't push it no more than that and I don't want to force it and break something so this just doesn't seem like it is doing anything to me I mean that's not a clutch engaging right there so I'm gonna drain the oil and pull this cover off and see if I can figure out what's going on back there um, yeah, I gotta go find something to drain this oil in. And when I go to crack this case open, you guys can watch. Alright. See you there. Alright guys, I'm committed. I'm taking this cover off. <clears throat> um, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's something internal. I think those clutch plates, I've been doing some uh, investigation ohms. And uh, I think my clutch plates aren't lined up correctly so I watched a few videos on that uh, trail bloggers channel and I'm going to attempt to do this I have not drained the oil I'm just gonna let it all fall on this tub right here and I'll replace it later so, here we go <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 Here comes the oil.
So here's that little piston I was telling you about. Ah. See now it's moving all the way. It wasn't. See, it's kind of getting stuck right there at the end. But you can see now. Moving. Oh, you know what, guys? I see the problem too. I see the problem, guys. And I wouldn't have known this if I wouldn't have watched trail bloggers rebuild on this clutch. That's how I know it's wrong. Stand by. All right, so in Trail Bloggers uh, video of the Warrior 350 clutch basket rebuild, see these little notches? These are all supposed to be lined up, and they're all over the place. There's one there, there's like three in a row there, there's one there, there's one there, and I think they're all supposed to be right here by this arrow. There's a little arrow right here. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back and look at See, I'm going to have to pull this all apart. But that's why nothing's moving on the clutch. Because that piece isn't in there correctly. These little... these I'm going to have to pull all these plates back apart. And, uh... Fix it. Yep. Um... I hope I have everything I need. Everything in here looks really clean though. All those gears look like they're in really good shape. Um, yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff does. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to go uh, re-watch Trail Blogger's video again. This will be like the third time I watched it. Just to be safe. Make sure I do everything correctly, so we'll see you in a bit. I didn't technically have to take this off. This oil smells like regular car, car oil. That's probably the problem. I'm not joking, dude. So you probably need to um, use brake clean and clean the frictions off. Yeah. And then re-soak them. Yeah. That's probably so you won't be riding thing. it today. Oh, by the way, guys, my brother is here from Trash and Treasures YouTube channel. Hey, guys. <laughs> Check it out, Trash and Treasures. I'll put a link in the description. But, yeah, we're going to clean this up because I swear this smells like regular car oil. Man. I don't know if there's a difference. It smells like gas too. It does smell like gas, yeah. I don't know if there's a difference or not. There is. There's friction modifiers in the... Uh, I mean smell wise, like, yeah. if there's a different right. smell. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, we're going to clean it up and try to put it back together the right way. All right, so instead of working on this motor, we've decided to put this motor in it. Because it's been going for a solid 15 minutes and hasn't stopped yet. It's still running great.
I'm just put Antoine and fill it with a juice box and I'll be gone. He's got more energy than a fuel tank. I ain't lying. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to have to end this video here. Um, I do get this cart running in the next video and with some riding footage. Um, yeah, check out Trash and Treasures. That's my stepbrother, Chris. That's his YouTube channel. He started it up a while back, but he's starting to get back into it. Definitely check him out. He's got my old rusty bug uh, go-kart I gave to him for a project. He's already bought motors and torque converters for it. He's going to be putting up videos soon. Check him out. And then uh, also check out John Deere 240 Mudding. That's a guy that lives around the corner from me. <clears throat> He's got a nice uh, John Deere mower and a snapper mower that he traded this for. He's real happy with. He's going to do something crazy with it. Who knows? Um, also check out Trail Blogger. Um, he helped me out with this engine. If you like Yamahas, he does everything Yamaha. This is a Warrior 350. He knew everything about it there was to know. Um, you'll find out in the next video what he taught me and everything. So stay tuned for that. This thing is a beast. You're going to want to see this next video. So hit subscribe, like that. Hit a comment. Ask me anything you want to ask me about it. I'll try to help you out as best I can. Um, I put all those links for those channels in the description and I'm out all right man my brother's heading out with the Duramax diesel we'll see you guys later god dang later Chris